Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how you can get boatloads of traffic back to your website. And I'm gonna state this right now, it's not easy, it's hard. You're gonna put in the time, there's no fucking hacks, no growth hacks, no like if you do this, all of a sudden the floodgates open and millions of people go to your website. No bueno, that shit doesn't exist. However, I'm gonna show you a proven, scalable model that you can duplicate and send off to your team, rinse and repeat, look at your analytics, Optimize based on your analytics and grow and grow and grow and grow and scale the right way, okay? So this is the model in a nutshell. I'm gonna keep this video as short as possible. Uh, the system is called a who, what, where, and how system. In this uh, video, we're just gonna be talking about the where. Forget about everything else. But just to let you know, that's where it comes from. So if we're looking at the whole model, most businesses, they will spend a lot of time focusing on their own platform. You wanna start off with a startup, you get your beautiful website, so you have your big website over here. You spend all this time and money creating content inside this website, right? So you put a money sign and you go out, you're like, oh, look at my content on my website. You do some social media posts, do all of this, you know, normal stuff, what they tell you to do, and guess what? Nothing happens. No one comes to your website because no one gives a shit about your company. No one cares about your brand. Yeah, you're nobody, okay? So this is what you need to do instead. You still. You still need to build out your website, but don't invest that much time into it. Make it aesthetically pleasing, make it mobile friendly, the standard stuff, okay? So you have your website, like so, and basically what I want you to do is, I want you to spend you know, enough of your time creating three amazing pillar posts. And what pillar posts are, are guides or articles anywhere between 2,000 words to 4,000 words, beautiful images and videos. Like you really invested your time in and kind of like become the industry leader in that specific, you know, topic that you're talking about. So you have three, so three pillar posts we call them. And, uh, you know, on average, you like to spend anywhere between 500 to maybe 1,000 on a pillar post, maybe more, maybe less, I don't know, maybe do it yourself. Nonetheless, you want three of them on your website and really be strategic. Uh, pick three topics in your industry, let's say your e-commerce, you have a, a product, maybe you're selling a pen, maybe you talk about then like cost of business for an office, that's one, maybe the second one is how to you know reduce overhead in your office, you get the gist of it. So three different topics with inside your industry and you create these pillar posts, none of these bullshit 500 word cheesy little dinky articles that I fucking hate, okay? So now you have three pillar posts. This is where the scalability model, the hard work comes in. Remember what I said, nobody knows you exist. Your website is in ghost town. Remember the movie Field of Dreams? If you will build it, it will come. No one comes, no one cares about your fucking baseball field, okay? So basically what you need to do is this. You need to grab your Google Doc sheet and you're gonna, you're gonna do this. You're gonna have one section which is called uh, GP, another section which is called podcast. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is garbage. It's the worst marker I've ever seen. Maybe I should have a fucking marker business. So we're gonna have, uh, here. there we go. Uh, we're gonna have, yeah, that's better. GP and uh, podcast, okay? And basically what you're gonna do is GP stands for guest posts. You can use a tool like BuzzSumo. So this is what I do. I go to BuzzSumo, get the pro feature. Trust me, don't chintz out on that free feature, pro feature, invest in proper fucking software. Go to BuzzSumo and type in the keywords for your business. So we're gonna still use the whole theme about the marker. I'm basically gonna type in the keyword startup. I'm gonna type in the word uh, maybe consumer product. I'm gonna type in the word maybe design. So figure out the main keywords in your niche of your business. And on the side of BuzzSumo, there is a check mark for guest posts. You check that, only that, nothing else. And it's gonna give you all these articles where people have guest posted. Holy shit, that's a fucking gold mine. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna uh, click the button on the right, it's gonna look for the most shares, so LinkedIn shares, Twitter shares, Facebook shares, and then basically go by one by one, every single one, and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for high domain website, north of 40 plus domain authority. A uh, great little trick you can do is you take the URL of that website, you can plug it into a website called similarweb.com, boom, and you look for uh, monthly traffic. So what you're looking for is anywhere between north of 100,000 monthly hits. You don't want anything south of that because it's not worth your time. So let's say you go through the whole process of finding websites doing more than 100,000 hits a month, domain authority, 40 plus, uh, 40 plus, and basically you're making a list of at least, I would say at least 30, 
guest posting opportunity. So you go to your Google Docs on Google Drive and you bum 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 name content. Bum 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 bum. Okay, cool. Now what you go is you do the podcast thing. So basically podcast is a little bit easier. You don't need any tools at all. You can go to Stitcher, you can go to iTunes, you can go to Google Play or Google Podcast. And basically you're looking at at least a top 40 in your niche. So let's type in, for example, once again with this, maybe entrepreneur, startup, marketing, consumer goods, etc. And basically you're looking for the top 40. You rip that data out, you go to your Google Doc, and once again, guess what? Name contact, name contact. Boom. That's your list, okay? And this is what you do. Let's start with the guest post. You go one by one and email them. And I usually like to ask permission-based marketing as opposed to just pitching them. I'm like, literally, this is all I do. Subject line, trying to connect or to uh, name of the person. So let's say to Mike from Amir, are you accepting guest post question mark? End of fucking story. Literally more than 80% of the time they email me back what you got, what do you have in mind. That's for interest-based marketing. Boom, open up the relationship and that's when you uh, sell them. So basically what you want to do is, you know those three pillar posts that you had? So this is what you do. Around those topics, you pitch them a good guest post that is congruent with their audience. Not what you want, but congruent with their audience based on those three pillar posts that you're talking about. And this is where the traffic part comes in because if you're looking at Google rankings, they care about backlinks for your website, they care about bounce rate, they care about how many other websites and people are, are talking about your web website and anchor linking to your website, et cetera, et cetera. So let's say uh, the first person accepts your guest post, you start writing a beautiful uh, guest post on their website, addressing their audience, talking about the three pillar posts, or roughly around the three pillar post ideas you had. Somewhere in that post, you're gonna have a link to one of your pillar posts. And the whole idea how we do how we do it usually is let's say we're gonna call this, I don't know, pillar post uh, one. So pillar post one is we have a campaign for each pillar post. So pillar post one is we're looking for roughly anywhere between five to 10 guest posting opportunities. And each of these guest posting opportunities, they have one link, so an anchor text based link, back to pillar post one. More or less, you're creating an organic, personal backlinking network, as opposed to paying it and controlling your own. That's a whole different video. Uh, but this is an organic way, different websites, different websites, different websites. You have now exposure to their audience. You're building links back to your um, pillar post, and that's it. Simple as that. So once you're done P1, go to P2, P3, you get the gist of it. So go down the whole list. You get ready for rejection, sure. Keep on moving forward and moving forward and moving forward. The whole idea now you're telling Google that you are a trustworthy website, that people deem you as an authority, and also, you, you, above all, you get fucking exposed to like mass amounts of audience. Like imagine you getting a guest post on like, I don't know, a website doing a million hits a month and then they put you on the front page. You can't buy that type of media, it's too expensive. You got it for free, you got value to their community, you get a back to your website, times that by five. Six, seven, 10, 25. 25 guest posts. You do the math. It really does help your company. And this is scalable, quantifiable. You can look at your Google Analytics. You can see how many people are coming from every link, every post, bounce rate, etc., etc. Become very, become, you know, use math to your advantage. Uh, you know, I wasn't number friendly at the beginning. And realize how important numbers are. So really digging deep into your analytics and see what's happening and see what's going on and then optimize from there. Podcasts, a little bit different. So podcasts are obviously not guest posting, you're not writing for them, but reach out, uh, figure out what the angle of their audience is, pitch your idea, pitch your story, and just be you, be fun, be organic, have a good conversation, be entertaining for people. And usually for the most part, these podcasts, they do have a spot where they link back to your website. It's not obviously to your article, but here's a little tip on top of that. If you are in a position where you can offer something special for their audience, create a, a unique page for their audience. So let's say, going back to the markers, maybe you can have like Entrepreneur on Fire because John Lee Dumas has a podcast and all well, these other people have podcasts or you know, Art of Charm, Jordan Harbinger. You can have artofcharm.com slash go marker, for example. So from Art of Charm, Jordan's page, they click it, they go to the marker page, a special offer just for his audience, okay? So make it unique, make it personable just for their audience. That, that little extra goes a long way. That's it. You go down the list, you finish that, bada bing. That's how you get traffic to your website. It's, it's not you just focusing on your website, it's you doing outreach, 
you building the bonds, the relationship with everybody else in your ecosystem, and also you getting exposed to other people's platforms. That's the most important thing. Your message, your brand, everything that you want to sell is now exposed on these platforms, have millions and millions of readers and followers and watchers. That's it. I'll leave you with that. If you got a comment, comment below. I'll see you later. Peace.